the Constitution 2010 provides that any expenditure must be equitable, that the programs of the, the government must involve all parts of the country. When I look at the money that is going to fund infrastructure, it is going to fund infrastructure in particular sector sections of the country at the expense of the others. The question I keep on asking, are these people paying tax or not? The third point, Mr. Speaker, on this budget is in the energy sector. Mr. Speaker, I come from a constituency where 37 educational institutions are not provided with electricity, despite the fact that this house passed a motion indicating that all schools, all educational institutions must be provided with electricity. When I look at the budget lines, I don't see my constituency and other constituents whose schools are not provided by electricity cut out for. Mr. Speaker, I'm persuaded to think today, unless advised otherwise, that the increase in the money in the de for defense indicates that then as a government, we are encouraging the problem in the, in the Rift Valley. We are actually funding bandits. If not, what reason do we have to increase money for defense at the expense of the, the Kenyan child? Mr. Speaker, I come from a constituency that has been marginalized in development for many years. There is a road called C44, which connects five counties, Wasingishu, Kakamega, Bungoma, Transoya, and partly Nandi. Looking at this budget, this road has been that road has been launched four times, twice by Kibaki. twice by the Jubilee government, and even the current president, when he was the deputy president, he came to launch the road at Panipepa. Today, when I look at the, the budget estimates, there is no single cent for C44. Are we not Kenyans? Mr. Speaker, I have an issue of land, and when I look at this budget, I get concerned. The other day, I saw a letter from the CS Treasury asking for the Minister of Lands to exercise two forests. And when I look at this budget, there is provision for those two forests. Unfortunately, for the, la the squatters, living in Manzini Forest in Tarbo, and squatters living in Mautuma Sandro, who are given land in 1992, they have not been provided for. What kind of country is this where we marginalize a section and provide for another? Mr. Speaker, I would like to support the estimates with amendments at the right time. Thank you.